follow the strict pipeline of concept, model, texture, lighting and rendering. Do one and only one at a time, bite-sized chunks. To make large projects more approachable and less intimidating, break it down into manageable smaller projects. Then complete each of these projects one at a time. Environments down into individual buildings, then break down individual buildings into a skeleton, cladding and peripherals. The skeleton is a structure, the cladding is all elements such as windows, doors, etc. And the detail is elements such as cabling, electrics, antennas and smaller element details. Use particles. Using particles to distribute detailing assets has two benefits. One, it replaces laborious hand placement, but also, number two, it randomizes detailing in a way that hand placement does not. File, name and group your work. It makes it easier to draw from for future projects. The more projects you have under your belt, the bigger the pool of content you can draw from. To benefit properly from this, make sure that all your assets are properly filed, named, added to collections and that you know where to find them. You want to ultimately get yourself to a point where your modeling and scene creation to a large extent uh, is drag and drop modeling. Know your subject matter. I create a lot of environments, therefore I know that the floor to height is 3.1 meters for residential buildings, 3.9 meter for office buildings and 3.5 meter for mixed use buildings. Because I know my subject matter, it takes the thinking out of the modeling and speeds up the process as a result. To speed up your work, gather good intel on your projects and be familiar with it. The aim of this video is to help you to create larger environments with less panic. Here goes.